Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Chaos Heroes Online, which has officially gone into closed beta. And uh, if you're interested on getting involved yourself, you can go ahead and click the link down in the description. Um, you know, as we mentioned in our last Chaos Heroes online video, uh, this was our first MOBA, like, ever. Like, we knew what they were, we've seen them, we've kind of watched and spectated from a distance, but we had never physically sat down and played one. So, um, first of all, watch out, noob alert! Second of all, um, I gotta say, I see what it's all about. I, I finally see what the hype is all about. So, um, I've done a lot of learning, and uh, fortunately for me, I had some help. Uh, HTG Jared, uh, his sister, and her husband, old Marcella and Nick, uh, came out and helped us out. And uh, we were able to co go ahead and kind of figure out some of these terms, such as like, you know, tanking and things like that, as well as figure out how this MOBA madness really works. So... Uh, again, as I mentioned, this game has just gone into a recent closed beta. Uh, the original version we were playing was kind of a in between the alpha and beta, and uh, now we're ready to rock. So basically, what we've done here is we've uh, concocted a full session of us, and this is uh, a this is uh, co-op versus AI. So we're playing against some computer people still, because I'm still not good enough. And right here, I get owned. My son actually came upstairs and started talking to me, and I looked away, and as obviously they had advanced and started owning me. And not, Nick, not knowing that, started <laughs> going, what are you doing, man? Yeah, it was pretty funny, because uh, I, I was uh, not only super noobing it up, but I died in the first, like, what, minute of battle? So, uh, anyways... Actually reminds me of a time that I went paintballing with uh, a whole group of my clan members. And uh, within the first 30 seconds of the whistle or horn blowing for us to go and attack. This is out in the woods. This is like 30-man teams versus 30-man teams. And the horn blows. And I kid you not, within the first 30 seconds, I slip and fall, hit the ground. When I hit the ground, I pulled the trigger, shot a paintball, and shot one of my best friends right in his butt. It was pretty funny. And... Uh, that was the first of many uh, friendly fire incidents that day. Not just by me, but others as well. Uh, speaking of friendly fire, that's one thing that I like about these MOBAs is that you don't have to worry about because there's a lot of uh, crash and bang and getting in between each other and whatnot. And uh, luckily for us, there is no friendly fire. Not, not that I've uh, been aware of anyways. Maybe, maybe I'm that big of a noob that I just couldn't even figure that out. But essentially what I've done here in the video is, uh, like I said, I broke down a whole match. Uh, m most of these matches, uh, at least so far that I've experienced, have taken somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour. Um, there is kind of a time limit set on the gameplay at 50 minutes in some of the cases. Um, but there is also a little bit of a, you know, spawning. Th there's the entry loading time and stuff, too, that uh, where you're selecting your characters and all that. So the whole process can take as long as an hour, but it shouldn't take much longer. And uh, so don't don't sit down and check this out if you got to go to school in 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? All right. So a uh, little bit of background here, just in case you're wondering. And uh, thanks for hanging out, by the way. But uh, basically, this is a spinoff of a game called Dota. I don't know. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, Dota stands for Defense of the H Ancients. Boy, if I could spit it out, that would sure be helpful. And um, as you can see, Nick tanking it up over there. Um, basically, Dota had a couple of spinoffs that came off. Uh, people had created, uh, I don't know if I'd call them mods or whatnot. I'm still kind of noobing it up, learning all this stuff. But uh, essentially, they had a spinoff called Dota Chaos, and it was really popular over in Korea. And it has evolved into its own standalone situation that is making it out uh, all over the place, actually, not just in Korea. And it's what we're seeing here. It's Chaos Heroes Online. So a lot of the characters and such are going to seem familiar. Um, I, I've actually seen a lot of the people commenting saying, oh, there's a lot of copyright infringement here. Well, that's kind of the point. Like, they didn't really steal the idea, but they kind of did. Um, it's more of an evolution than it is uh, thievery. So basically, they've taken these characters you know and have grown to love and have kind of made them uh, into their own versions, um, giving them multiple skins and, and different um, you know, customizations, different specializations. And, um, you know, so it basically has just taken what you already knew and uh, made it grow tremendously. So, all right. So. Another thing that uh, I learned about this is is that um, well, overall there there are over 60 characters. 
Um, that is a lot of characters. Now, each, as I just mentioned, of those characters has variants. So there's these skin cards that you can earn um, or buy in-game that actually uh, allow you to change the characteristics of that character. So right now I have a, a ranged archer. Um, you know, one of the skins may change it to be a, a male ranged archer instead of a female. And there's all sorts of things. Instead of blue, you may be green. And in some cases, I'm sure you get different sorcery potions and such. Um, uh oh, uh oh, dun dun dun. That's uh, that's known as a, another death in my category. And there's a few more of those. I would like to hold a contest one of these days. We should do a live stream, and if you can guess how many times I die in one match, then uh, maybe you'll win something cool. I, I can't do it here because obviously you could fast forward through it, and and really there's no way to tell if you watched it all or whatever. So, anyways. Um, oh, and I have sped up the death process a little bit. There is quite the cooldown or recharge time uh, when you die. The resurrection time is what they actually label it as. Um, and uh, essentially, I didn't want to make you guys wait through all that. I, I tried to keep it busy because while you're dead, you can actually focus on the battle and watch what's going on in the battle rather than watching yourself sitting there in a hot spring taking a nice little bath. Um, we, uh, we, we keep it live, but we also try to speed it up so you're not sitting here for a plus. Like I said, the matches take 45 minutes to an hour, so that's why this one's a little bit shorter. I've sped up some of my, uh, recharge or resurrection time, so. Oh, yeah. All right, so the camera is still something I'm still working on. As you can see, I was a little bit south there, a little bit low. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, one thing I did find out about this game is, uh, I am terrible at getting the last hit, but I am amazing at getting assists. <laughs> and in the end, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at the stats, and I'll just say it wasn't pretty. I, I, uh, I'm not sure that I've actually gotten a kill yet. Like, I've, I've assisted in many, and I've done lots and lots of damage, and, and I've finally got the hang of the consumables of, of what to consume and when, um, or at least sort of. But uh, holy cannoli, so... All right, so by now you're probably uh, dying to get involved and uh, check this out. I, I know it's fun to watch me and listen to me and, hey, you may be at work or in your car on the way to school on school bus or something like that. Wherever you may be, uh, you know, now's your chance to get involved in this nice closed beta of Chaos Heroes Online. And uh, like I said, uh, I would love to put a, a link, an annotation link in the video, but YouTube still isn't quite on board with us uh, just spamming any kind of links out yet. So we have to put that down in the video description for you. It should be the first thing you see. Go ahead and click that and then uh, sign up. And, uh, you know, you might check our Facebook page, too. We've been doing a series of uh, beta code giveaways. So uh, we've given away at least a handful already, and we've got more that we plan on giving out uh, throughout today uh, as well as tomorrow. So uh, not to time date this video, but it is Tuesday, and uh, that would be uh, September 16th. And uh, we actually just got into closed beta yesterday. So Monday the 15th, matchmaking and everything went live. Um, it's like I said before, it's kind of in a was in that kind of an alpha slash beta, you know, transition and there wasn't quite matchmaking. So I, I think technically they were calling it the closed beta, but matchmaking wasn't turned on yet. I think that's technically where we were at. But now matchmaking is there. So not only can you play with your friends against AI like we're doing in this video, but you can also go ahead and do uh, real life battles where you're, you know, 5v5 in it up, trying to trying to make your way to victory. So. Speaking of which, uh, victory, it's a nice thing. Uh, I, although I have not been a very good killer, I've had quite a, quite a good luck, a uh, bit of luck for, uh, well, I guess taking out these AI guys. I haven't tested my skills in the real battlefield yet. And GT Zone, he was, uh, he was kind of a, an innocent bystander that got tossed in with the rest of us hooligans from Happy Thumbs. And uh, he actually did quite well throughout this, uh, throughout this, game here match whichever you want to call it you can definitely see um, sick aka nick was um messaging him whispering him and not like like hey what are you doing like actually in game like sending messages you know all right so um for those of you who have never played dota never played league of legends uh are unfamiliar with the process of mobas in general uh down in the bottom left hand corner you can actually see there is a map with lots of real time uh, icons floating around back and forth battling it up and essentially that is giving us the overall view of the whole area the whole uh, battleground so or battle arena and uh, essentially you're trying to uh, basically take over at all it's a matter of con command and conquer 
and whoever can get into the opposite team's base and destroy it uh, will ultimately usually be the victor. Now, if you guys have battled and battled and battled, it's a really close, even battle. As I mentioned, there are time frames on these, and that will prevent you from uh, actually finishing a game in some cases. So what it does is it tallies up all your kills and all your points and all your defenses, and uh, that's where uh, it'll decide who the winner is. And how that breaks down is uh, often tracked up top. Um, you can see there are uh, some bars up there, 100%. And what does it say, like 86 or something? It's a lot less. So uh, that's kind of an indication of, like, how much of your bases are left. So basically, we have been kicking some teeth in and doing all right. At first, I thought it was some sort of, um, like, a good to bad ratio. See, look at that. See, I can destroy watchtowers, but I can't get any kills. Like, I was all proud of myself. Like, woohoo! But it doesn't count. Like, it's not a kill. So um, I'm using my uh, ultimates, I guess, uh specials oh no i got jumped and uh, i should have used my recall so one thing i haven't touched on is that um there's a nice little function that allows you to teleport back to the hot spring where you can get your health all fixed up uh problem with this is is that uh, first of all it takes you right out of the heat of the battle so if you and your buddies are out trying to take over a spot and you use it it actually zaps you out and uh, guess what? You ain't in Kansas no mo. And uh, good news is you get to heal yourself. Bad news is you're leaving all your buddies behind on the battlefield, uh, more than likely setting them up to fail. Uh, but if you do it all right, uh, you'll have enough reinforcements there that it won't matter. But the other downside to using that is, is that it does have a five-minute cooldown time. So kind of a long time for uh, that to regenerate. But... Nonetheless, it is a very handy tool, and we highly suggest using it. And, and there was plenty of times that I found myself, like, watching my health, watching my health, and I was attacking and getting attacked, and attacking and getting attacked. And, and uh, you know, if you're using the vam, vam, what is it, vampiric, vam, vam, vampiric potion, I, I, I still can't say it very well. Um, you know, when you attack, you gain health. So sometimes you're getting attacked, but then you attack, and it's kind of this battle back and forth on your health bar of, like, going up and going down. And uh, in this particular case, or in a few cases, I found myself uh, watching it, and it gets really close, and I go and I hit the Z button, which happens to be the teleport to safety button, and no go, wouldn't get it in time, I'd get on. But I have noticed, too, that once you do actively initiate that, um, you go into uh, what, what is an invincible mode, and you're able to uh, basically teleport out of there to safety without any worry of being attacked. Now, one thing that I haven't determined 100%, and I probably should have asked, uh, my contact before even bringing this up uh, is the portal kills like you'll notice that there's all these uh, types of kills that are labeled on screen and one of the types is a portal kill and I'm assuming that the uh, it has something to do with your teleporting and portaling out back to but maybe it has nothing to do with it I like I said I'm a noob hopefully one of you guys is smart enough that you can correct me and label it down in the comments below that would surely help and speaking of below if you haven't already, click that link, go check out the beta yourself, and, uh, you know, to be honest, you should message me. We can get some games in. You could, you could noob it up with me in person. That would be pretty cool. If you haven't figured it out, Mr. Lando 620 that is uh, HTG Jared's PSN name, and that's, uh, you've seen him get a few kills up there. He's certainly figuring out, oh, look at that, showing off. As I bring his name up, he's got to go and show off. I don't have any kills yet. He's getting a double kill. So, you know, maybe I should fast forward through this part, take away his glory. He's actually not even on screen right now. He's somewhere else doing the dirty. Or no, that is him right there, huh? Oh, no, I'm working with his sister. That's right. Jared's somewhere else. I don't know why Jared does not like being anywhere near me on the battlefield. I don't know if it has something to do with, like, my gameplay. I don't know if my character stinks. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there. But, um, I, I, like, even when we played uh, before we got his sister and brother-in-law involved, um, you know, he wanted nothing to do. He was like, oh, I'm over here. I'm like, where are you at? Oh, I'm down here. Well, I can't tell. Like, there's multiple character faces, and they're so small. I can't really make it out yet. And, uh, anyways, we're going back to the, uh, the little, uh, fountain of youth, so to speak. Uh, one, that's one thing I have not brought up specifically yet, as Lendo destroys another tower. Basically, if you run out of health and you don't want to use your teleport, uh, back to go back. Does that even make sense? Back to go back? Um, 
Do you want if you don't want to use your teleport, or let's say you're during your five minute cooldown time, you can certainly uh, run back on your own. It does take a lot more time, but hey, it's free. So, oh, pwned. That's no good. GT zone got pwned. All right, Supreme Hunter. So uh, another thing that uh, if you're doing really well, you survived a while, you've uh, taken out some towers, maybe some other baddies, um, you will be uh, wanted, so to speak. And basically, wanteds are kind of like little mini, I don't know if I'd call them quests, but maybe I'd call them quests. Um, they're, they're moments where you have the ability to, um, you know, gain some extra gold for taking out one of your enemies. So it's kind of like a kill streak, hot streak, whatever you want to call it. Uh, MOBAs probably have a specific term for it rather than like kill streak, but uh, that is what I would call it. So now, one thing I haven't touched in this video that I brought up before is uh, the ability for uh, they call it map mobility. Uh, you know, the map's obviously set in stone and it's pretty defined as far as paths. However, you can actually use. Uh, not a shovel, but uh, your weapon of choice, whichever your character has, to go ahead and select some of these trees, and you can actually eradicate them and carve your own paths. So if you're jungling, which is uh, going through the areas uh, where there isn't a lot of contact, not the battle points, um, there are often a lot of baddies just kind of wandering around. Uh-oh, look at this. They, they brought the... They brought the party right here. Holy cow. Run! <laughs> Look at me hightail it out of there. But uh, essentially, there are areas in the jungle, which we might even see one here in a second. Off to the left there, maybe. Uh, but those uh, little spots will have uh, just a little pack of like two or three bad guys. And um, you can go ahead and go in there and level up XP, get collectibles or consumables. Sorry. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. But uh, you can see some of the trees have actually been eradicated right there. And uh, that wasn't done necessarily uh, in the form that I was talking. So they can, you can actually use it to be strategic through it. And uh, I don't know if I do it in this video or not, but sometimes like right here, there is the um, the big old bad tree over there. Uh, what do they call them? I'm trying to remember what they call them. Anyways, uh, you can actually go and attack. Like I can go down and dig a path through those trees right there and work my way and attack straight from the bottom. Now, of course, there's already a path in our lane there that you can go and check out. But, yeah, Sentinel. That's all right. I don't know why I couldn't remember that word. But, uh, yeah, you definitely got to tag team those guys. Otherwise, uh, their health seems to regen faster than one or two people can go after. But you keep seeing the wanteds. Uh, that's, uh, look at that. Even I am wanted, which I don't know why. I just simply haven't died for a while, I guess. But um, still no kills, if you're wondering. Not not a one. We've got lots of assists. But not a Not one kill, though. Uh, quite a few deaths. Got what, two or three? Three at this point, it looks like, according to my timeline there. Speaking of timeline, we're just over the halfway point of this video. Uh, again, thank you guys for tuning in. I, I know I'm not necessarily the most entertaining, and um, although this MOBA is awesome, the graphics are amazing. I love the 3D artwork. Um, you know, but, you know, and, and I'm a fan of top downs. I know a lot of people are not fans of top down style games. Oh, as I get owned. Uh, but uh, I certainly am, and obviously these MOBAs are almost always top-down. In fact, I'm, I'm not sure that there is a MOBA that isn't. But um, regardless, we're going to go ahead and regroup. And you can see I got the resurrection time going. Now there's all sorts of skills and things. I haven't touched on the skills at all um, throughout each game. One thing I didn't know was is that um, you have like a, a, a profile progression where you like get XP and it all adds up and it, you know right now I think I'm a level four or something overall uh, but in this game you can see my character down in the middle bottom left there is uh, a level 11 and that's simply just based off of my performance in this game and uh, every game that you start you start off at your low level I'm not I'm not sure how your beginning level starts if it's a, a character custom attribute or if it's based off of your player profile progression but either way, um, you start off with more or less nothing, and you gotta, you know, work your way to the top. So started from the bottom, now we're here, for all those youngsters out there. Um, anyways, as you can see, we're making a nice push, and we're working our way into their base. But they have a dragon, so retreat! <laughs> you can see we all run from that dragon, because at this particular point, that dragon is uh, invincible, at least to our knowledge. Uh, we tried targeting it, and we did not have very good luck. And uh, he ran us out of there until he dipped out. Oh, he's making his turn back around. Uh, we're doing everything we can. Look at us. Smash, smash, smash. So, oh, to the yeah. All right. So, there's a lot of these little towers, watchtowers, that you have to take out inside their actual base area. And the fortress is right there off to the left. 
But you can't attack the fortress until you have everything else milked. At least that's my understanding. And up top, you can see that they did do a little bit of damage on our uh, base. You can see it's down to, what is that, 94%? 84%? I can't. My, my preview window is small. I know I often say that in some of my videos. But it is. I'm not lying. It is. And I could make it bigger, but then I don't get to see the timeline. as effectively. And yeah. All right, enough bitching. We're chasing this dude. We're dogpiling on the rabbit. And if you look, he teleported out of there, and we were unable to kill him. So a very effective use of the recall. And um, unfortunately for him now, uh, he has to go back and fill up his juice. And unfortunately for us, we, uh, we lost our bad guys. Okay, so here you go. You can see me taking out some trees here now. Um, I'm not exactly sure why I decided to take those out. I, I think I just remembered, oh, yeah, I can take those out. So I opted to do so. Now, my particular uh, character has a couple of specials or ultimates, whichever you prefer to call them. And uh, mine happened to be a series of arrows. So rather than shoot one or two arrows at a time, uh, I shoot like, a, I don't know, it's like it's like rapid fire. There you go. And then my secondary one that I have uh, is actually experiencing a cooldown right now. And I got about 10 seconds before it comes back. And uh, that one is going to have a series of archers appear and shoot. Um, sometimes it's flaming. Sometimes it's like mystical. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but you'll see him here in a second. It's ready. Ooh, sick got pwned. I don't. That doesn't, that doesn't happen very often. He was, he was definitely the uh, the carry, quote unquote. That was another term I learned that I wasn't sure. My last name is Carry. If you didn't know that, and. Uh, so when they kept saying the carry, I kept going, I'm the carry, but that didn't work out. And I got noob because I waited too long. That's one thing that I still have a hard time figuring out. Like once your health gets to like a quarter of what it should be, uh, you need to run and you need to run fast or recall because, um, yeah, it, it doesn't take much more. So you can see the, the resurrection time certainly gets to be a nuisance. So every time you die, it gets... Uh, longer and longer and longer. Look at that <laughs> snowball effect. That's got to be one of the coolest specials that I've seen so far. And, and that's the thing. Like I haven't even begun to check out all of the different characters and the different specials. And then you got to think about all the character skins too. So, like I keep saying, guys, uh, I highly recommend that you uh, hop down to the bottom of this video and look in the description and click that link. Uh, it'll take you right to the sign-up page, and uh, you should be able to get going. And if you have any issues with that, feel free to ask questions. Let us know. We will help solve it. And uh, also keep an eye on our Facebook page. Maybe you're at work right now. Uh, you're not at your main computer. You can't necessarily get to go sign up and all that. Check our Facebook page. Give us a like maybe, perhaps, and uh, keep your eyes peeled for some codes. Like I said, we got some posted already. Um, you know, who knows? By the time you get off work, there might be another one ready for you. Ah, ah, ah. That was pretty cool. That was Jared's sister's one of her ultimates or specials, and uh, she came in and she was trying to put a put a work in on this dragon. But no matter what we did, you can see his health bar just doesn't seem to budge. So, all right, holy cow! I just looked at the time on this video. We're getting in the home stretch now. We're actually uh, we're actually putting a pretty good hurting in on their overall status. And uh, there's a double kill. Good job, Nozomi. And, uh, yeah. I still don't have a kill, if, if you're wondering. And, and I'm teleporting out. I, I used my wuss card, and I, I cashed in and was like, so yeah. And uh, look at that. They're out there counter-killing and getting, oh, she got pwned. Oh, well. It's all good. I, I, we were making jokes about me being the first one dead and the first one back out, which was terrible because... I was the least experienced, really. I mean, Jared kept saying he was, but he was doing much better than I was. So, less experienced maybe in this game, because I'd played two more rounds than him. But uh, overall, I think he understood the concept of the last hit a lot better. Like, I tried to last hit, but see, I was the guy that would come in and, like, use my ultimate right when I thought I could take out the last hit, but it wouldn't be quite enough, and then somebody else would get it. That happened quite a bit. I don't know if you've noticed it in this game, but it's happened a lot during my gameplay of Chaos Heroes. And hopefully I'll get better at it as I continue to play. So, yay, yay. Yeah, my uh, my name, if you guys do hop on the uh, beta, is uh, just like you see on the screen here. It is HTG underscore Brian. Um, you can use the player search to find me if I'm not online, and you can go ahead and add me. Um, if I am online, feel free to invite me to your party, but just beware that uh, I may already be in another game or may have a party full at that point. So, But I won't ignore you. I'm, I'm usually really good about uh, you know answering comments and questions 
whether it be on YouTube, Facebook, uh, my PSN account, whatever it may be. All right, all right, all right. There's another uh, kill for Mr. HTG Jared, Mr. Lendo. And look at that. See, I'm, I'm, I'm still, uh, no, not. It was funny. At one point, his sister was like, oh, Brian, you got a kill. Yay. And it was like this big moment. And I was like, really? I didn't even see I got one. And so, like, at this point, I'm pretty sure it was at this point, we were totally under the impression that I had one kill under my belt, and we were very proud for me. But I hate to say it, that wasn't the case. <laughs> and I don't want to ruin anything for you, but I have some pretty amazing stats coming up here in a second. And then, like I said before, it's just unfortunate that destroying the uh, camps and watchtowers don't count because... I got a couple of those. I got a little limelight going there. All right. The dragon is now, uh, he's not invincible anymore. We can definitely take him out. I'm sure it has something to do with the amount of watchtowers or uh, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Some, something that we just took out most certainly had something to do with it. May just be the overall percentage. Oh, look at that. I am wanted. That's good. Bum, bum, bum. Another portal kill for Nozomi. Good job. Good job. All right, a double kill. See, she stole mine. I wasn't even watching me and what I was doing, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that that should have been mine. Oh, and then I got owned. So does Jared. Back to the drawing board we go. Uh, one thing, too, that I haven't pointed out is that when you die, it actually gives you a nice little breakdown. There's no kill cam or any repeat of your death, but it does give you the information telling you who killed you and how. So, uh, yeah, that's not good. The old hero sweep, huh? See, I thought the hero sweep was bad. I thought hero sweep was uh, when all of us got killed, but apparently not. And look at that. He's out of here. He's like, cha, 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 and then swoop. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rest of us are almost done with our resurrection. He's healing up. So we got one last little push here we're going to make. And then we're going to uh, basically, uh, well... Again, I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's pretty obvious that we're going to win this match. Oh, see, look in the jungle right there. Off to the right-hand side, you can see there was a group of three, like, spider octopus-looking things. And uh, those will certainly help aid you in your leveling up. And um, I'm pretty sure that they might even drop items or something. I I'm not sure on that. I, I haven't seen a lot of weapon drops, so I'm, I'm not sure that's even a thing. That is pretty cool. It looked like he was throwing a whole bag of peanuts at everybody. Do you see that? It was like pew, 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 pew. Little baby dragon. Oh, look, it's a little baby dragon. Yep, not anymore. He ain't going to make Chaos Heroes, too. You know what I'm saying? All right, this big old rock dude's rocking around. Nope, T taking him out, too. Look, look, I'm like invincible right now. I'm jungling like I've never jungled before. And uh, it's going well for me, I will say. However, I'm wrong place, wrong time. I need to get out of here. Come on. Get to rolling. Final push, people. Final push. All right, nice little portal kill, which I'm assuming is, uh, you know, I, I, Buddy goes invincible when you try to uh, recall out, but uh, I don't know. Anyways, here we go, final push. We're in their area, and we're going to go ahead and dogpile on the watchtower. It doesn't take long when you got everybody firing. We obviously uh, have one more right in front of us we need to take out. Unfortunately for us, their bad guy spawned and came back and got me, so... Uh, unfortunately, I am yet again playing the resurrection game, but I got better. Like I got to say, my first game that I played all by myself, even in the tutorial, the, the third part of the tutorial, uh, it owned me. And there is, that's one last thing that I haven't mentioned is that there is a three-step tutorial that actually walks you through this entire game. Um, shows you all the consumables, tells you, you know, hey, that flashing item up in the corner, uh, that's actually a recommended item for me. So although you don't have to know everything about the consumables, the game kind of does help you, but it doesn't hold your hand uh, all the way. So um, there's certainly a lot of room to learn stuff. There's a lot of room to grow. And even when you understand the full process, there's so many stinking characters and character skins and ways to play this game with different friends and different maps and different attack patterns. Um, I get it. I understand. Like I said, I've never played a MOBA before this one, but I clearly understand why they are so popular and why people play them all the time. And, uh, you know, uh, I might have to add MOBA to my list. And obviously, uh, being this is my first one and I understand this one, it'll probably be this one. All right, so I'm trying to be a little backdoor Billy here running around. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I uh, was actually trying to use my plan of attack to come from the south, 
but they actually moved and went running by me. So sometimes I know you've probably noticed it on the screen. Uh, if they're just outside of your kind of attack area, the game uh, will not necessarily show you everything. It kind of goes and see, like you can see, they're kind of coming out of the shadows. Uh, I don't know if I'd call that a draw distance, but it's certainly an attack point. Um, you know, if they're outside of it, can't see them usually. And if they are, um, then uh, yeah. All right, so we are still making our final, final, final push. We're up on the top here. We all made this agreement. You, you can't hear us talking in game, but we made this agreement. We needed to come from the top right side and take out this watchtower, which would allow us then to get a little closer into the uh, fortress. And you can see, I oh, there was my uh, my special, but it didn't get me anything cool. It just took out the watchtower. All right, one more watchtower to go. Good job, good, good job, Jared. Good job destroying Beric. Ooh, another barrack down. All right. We got, looks like, maybe one more watchtower. It's the Tower of Death. Oh, two of them. Two Towers of Death. And speaking of death, there's one. We bring, we're, we're the death bring us. All right, all right. The moment of truth is coming up right now. We're going to take this out. Like I already said, I already, I already kind of gave it away. We win. But um, it's kind of a slaughter, too, if you look at the percentage up top. Most certainly an, an arse kicking. And uh, proud to say uh, I had fun playing with these guys. It was a blast. And uh, I'm just thankful they put up with my non-kill-getting stats. Yay, victory, yay! So, uh, you know, Divine Union wins over the Immortal Legion. And uh, we'll go ahead and exit now after a nice little victory high five that we gave in-game there. And uh, so you get a series of chests that you can open up. Um, kind of choose kind of a bonus item so to speak and here's the breakdown of everything so you can see um, I had zero kills and 23 assists Let me repeat that zero kills 23 assists. Yeah, I didn't want to look at it anymore. I was I was humiliated as can be so Hey guys, um, you know what? Thanks for tuning in one last time. If you haven't heard me, you skipped ahead, whatever the case may be, uh, there is a link down below. We highly recommend you check this game out. I mean, why not? It's it's in closed beta, so it's not the full game, but it is free. So um, other than a little bit of time, you got nothing to lose. And if you like MOBAs or have never tried one, I, I again encourage you to check it out. Um, yeah, so like I said, uh, if you have any questions, head on over to our Facebook. You can head... Twitter, comment, vote below, down below. I messed that up big time. So uh, it's been a long day already, and it's still the morning time. So uh, anyways, uh, hopefully you enjoyed our playthrough. We're going to go ahead and play some more. Like I said, feel free to add me, add Jared. Um, message us, let us know. We can line up some times and do some MOBA. All right. Uh, other than that, I got nothing else. So, uh, yep. As always, until next time. <laughs> See ya.